Hey YouTube, I'm going to make another video. This is my official number two sketchbook. Uh, again, I'm going to, if there's just scribbles through here, I'm just going to skip through pa the pages and show you the better drawings. So, some of these, they started out good and either I had something come up or they just, some of them just didn't turn out too good. Uh, I'm starting to, uh, you know, like in, in the sketchbooks before the drawings, before I didn't have any dates, that first, very first one was like 2015. Well, in this sketchbook and the sketchbooks after that, I'm not dating every single one of the drawings that I've done, but I, some of them are 2018, so... Okay, here's one. I didn't date this one, but I'm guessing it's around 2018. If any of you have seen the movie Phantasm, about the tall man, the main character that I showed you that I've drawn, Angus Scrim. Well, this is a drawing. I found it on the internet, and I just thought it was the coolest thing. It could have been a computer graphic, for all I know. But I challenged myself to draw it, and I thought it turned out pretty decent. But anyway, uh, this is black felt pen, and you know the technique stippling where you make a lot of dots. That's what this is, and this is dark and light colored or graphite, just regular pencil. Some of it is art mechanical pencil. Some of it is black ballpoint pen. Uh, you do your with your black felt pen down here, your writing pen. You can do your definition, your shading, your highlighting. Some of this has black uh, colored pencil. It has gray colored pencil in it. A lot of highlighting. Uh, and this, the background here is oil pastel. Some of it is white gel marker. And, but all this is, is him holding a sphere and it's showing a reflection of him in his office. So I, I just think this turned out too cool. If anyone's seen the movie Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, this is kind of my version of trying to sketch it out. She's very difficult to draw, by the way. For me, she is. One of the coolest movies I think I've ever seen in my life. I haven't seen the whole series of those movies, but I, I just love the first one. But anyway, this is the dragon tattoo on her back. And it's got the black felt pen. 2017 right here, so. Prince. From such a talented guy. Just loved him. But, uh... I don't know exactly when I did this, probably about the same time, 2017, 2018, maybe even 2019. But I just wanted to see if I could try and draw him. He's really not that difficult to draw for me, he isn't. And it doesn't look like he has any felt point or felt point pen in him on this drawing. Just a lot of dark and light uh, regular pencil, just blended and highlighted with an eraser. Okay, this is another one where I'm trying to draw someone in water. Water is really kind of, it's not that complicated to draw. It's just kind of tricky to draw, should I say. But anyway, um, yeah, you just, you know, you make your line where you're wanting to place the water in the drawing. And you just highlight on one side and you shade on the other. I mean, of course you work with this process, but that's, and this is just, sorry about that. This is just darker lead and her hair isn't shaded or blended so much but this is your darker lead with your lighter lead and highlighting this one actually I think turned out pretty good Emma Thurman is the bride 
on uh, Kill Bill. Still working at this point. It's not dated, but I, I guess it's about the same time with the other ones. Uh, still working with perspective, as you can see with her arms, still a little bit out of proportion. Uh, working with how to do the side of a face and working with proportion on her katana sword but I think she turned out okay and it's got that black felt pin in through it her eyes maybe a little bit through her veil but uh, and on the handle of the sword and on the blade of the sword I just love that movie this one isn't completed Lucy Liu Kill Bill or in Ishii. Love that movie. Uh, but this looks like it does have a little bit of that black felt pen with a darker pencil that goes over it. She has black felt pen in her pupils of her eyes and on her katana and in her mouth and on her clothing. Okay, this one... I just found this on the internet, but I thought it was kind of a cool picture, so I thought I'd try and draw it. Anyway, this is a girl, and she just has a bunch of feathers in her hair. She has her black felt pin in her eyes, a little bit in her mouth, a little bit in the detail work, but mainly it's the darker lead with, uh, you know, it's not so much blended because you want to make it look like feathers. But anyway, uh, blended in her face and then highlighted with the eraser. Really not much to her. Okay, this one right here, this was, the whole reason why I drew this is mainly to get a kind of an idea of how hair is in a drawing. Well, her hair is wet in the picture that I drew it from. So um, her hair is kind of sticking to her face and everything. Well, that's what this is. I don't think she has a lot of, maybe a little bit of black felt pen and it's got the darker pencil over it. But it's mainly just, yeah, you can see a little bit of that black felt pen through here, but not a lot. But mainly it's just that darker pencil with a lighter pencil and kind of blended with a pen, uh, eraser to highlight. Okay, this one, I'm working with perspective again. Her arms compared to the size of her head. Uh, this, ha this has a black felt pin on her ring and on her bracelet, her eyelashes, her ear, a little bit in her mouth and her nostril, but most of this, and maybe a little bit in her clothing right through there, but mainly it's uh, just regular pencil that's blended and highlighted. are just need to be redone or something. I mean, I did these quite a while back. This one right here doesn't say what year it is, and I'm figuring it's between 2018, maybe 2017, 2020. Anyway, I just love this. I think it's so adorable, and it's just a bunch of kids that are playing, and it's technically a black and white photograph, and one day I'm going to redo this and probably paint it in black and gray with the, you know, just how I'm kind of doing with some of these other paintings and in, in the gray and blacks and the whites, paints, tones, make it look like a black and white photograph. That's challenging, but it's, it can be fun. Okay, and that's sketchbook two. I'm getting ready to post sketchbook three. So thank you again for watching. Have a good day. Bye for now.